The light motor vehicle, ZIL-115, was not designed as a commercial vehicle. Moreover, they could not be owned by individuals. Their design and engineering documentation had been marked secret until the beginning of the 1990s. Vehicles which ran more than 100,000 kilometers were destroyed. The vehicle was designed during the period of growing animosity between the Soviet Union and the USA, which was bound to be reflected in its construction. For example, the surfaces of the manually fabricated body, including the roof and the huge bonnet, were finished using a special tin-like compound instead of putty to provide protection against high background radiation. Special add-on armor could be used in the car. It was attached inside the huge doors called splashers. Almost all essential systems of the vehicle were duplicated and the wiring of the ignition and power supply system was designed to operate in extreme conditions. A V8 with 7.7 .7 liters pushing 314 horsepower was installed in the car. And now imagine for a moment that during the time of the Soviet Union, the car had hydraulic power steering, power windows, an automatic transmission, two air conditioners, an all-band stereophonic radio receiver with a tape drive mechanism and six speakers. It also had individual lights for each passenger and steering column height adjustment. Parts of the body were fabricated manually and fitted together individually during assembly. The body was covered with 15 coats of paint with intermediate drying and polishing of each coat. The car, which weighed three and a half tons, was able to accelerate to 200 kilometers per hour. A few such cars were manufactured in the Soviet Union per year when they were acquired by state officials. There are few operation and maintenance manuals that exist, but they are as rare as the cars themselves. Two, Soviet Biobot. At the beginning of the 1960s, some ambitious animal experiments were carried out by Soviet scientists. A number of pioneering studies were conducted at Moscow University and the Academy of Sciences. And in 1950, Russian scientist Vladimir Demikov amazed the entire world by transplanting a dog's head to another dog. The two-headed dog lived as long as a month. During the first period of the Cold War, all efforts of Soviet sciences were hurled into creating a perfect weapon. In 1958, a secret Soviet project aimed at creation of a cyborg bot was launched. Nobel Prize winner Manulov was the scientific advisor. Apart from the designer, some medical professionals and engineers participated in constructing of the bot. Mice, rats, and dogs were proposed for experiments in order to prove them safe for humans. Experiments on monkeys were also considered, but dogs were ultimately chosen as they are easier to train and quieter than monkeys. This project was later named Kali and lasted for almost 10 years, but was then terminated by the order of the Central Committee as of January 4, 1969 and then related information became secret. In 1991, all the project data was unsealed. Pa? Good girl. Pa? Good girl. 3. USSR Super Soldiers From 1939 to 1941, a top-secret project aimed at creating super soldiers was being implemented in the USSR. Military men were not fed with any chemicals or doping drugs. Instead, golden electrodes were implanted into their brains to prevent any pain and their bones were replaced with titanium prosthesis which protected soft tissues in case of a mine or shell explosion as well as from injuries caused by bullets. In this case, any wound would be a through and through one and would not cause splintering of bones causing amputations. Many people died after those surgeries. Foreign objects in the body took poorly, and most soldiers with disabled pain centers were later diagnosed with brain tumors or mental diseases. About 300 volunteers participated in the experiment, although they were most likely volunteered by force. All soldiers had to sign a pledge of secrecy while divulgence of military secrets was punishable by firing squad. Interestingly, the main opponents of the USSR carried out similar experiments. In 1945, American allies seized a secret medical center in Germany. There were a few dozen dissected bodies of Soviet soldiers inside. The bones in the bodies were replaced with steel prosthesis. For example, there was an officer's body with steel ribs. A few people were deliberately turned into dwarves. Usually, they were trained to become pilots because short people were less vulnerable to their adversaries. 
Besides, they could take more fuel and ammunition supplies into the plane. The center's work aimed at the creation of a one-man army was interrupted when the war began. Almost all of the center's staff were mobilized to the army and died in the field. It is not improbable that special services took care of that as it was dangerous to let those witnesses live. After the war, the project was scuttled completely as having no prospects. The nuclear bomb appeared and the idea of Terminator warriors was admitted to be obsolete. 4. Spiral Space Fighter At the height of the Cold War, all kinds of environments were considered for war and space was not left aside. In response to the USA's development of the X-20, an orbital manned interceptor, scout, and bomber, the USSR decided to create their own aerospace system. The project was named Spiral. It was supposed to become the USSR's first fighting spaceship. Lazino Lazinski suggested that Spiral should consist of three main parts, a hypersonic accelerator aircraft, a two-stage rocket booster, and an orbital aircraft. The accelerator aircraft was supposed to ensure a speed of 7.5 thousand kilometers per hour and an altitude of 30 kilometers. The orbital aircraft was to separate from the accelerator aircraft and gain the Earth orbital velocity of 7.9 kilometers per second. Thus, the plane would go into low Earth orbit and could accomplish its mission including reconnaissance, space interceptor, or space-to-Earth bombing. The proposed design offered a number of advantages. For example, the aircraft could quickly reach any part of the globe and land under any conditions. But in the late 1970s, when the first aircraft had been built and was ready for testing, the project was suddenly closed by top officials. It was a premature death of one of the most promising space projects of the USSR. And number five, underground vehicle, Battle Mole. After the Second World War, the Soviet government obtained projects for two German underground tanks, the Subterrain and the Midgard Serpent. They were designed to be amphibious vehicles able to travel on the ground, underground, and even underwater at a depth of up to 100 meters. After a long study of the German drawings, Soviet scientists commenced developing their own underground submarine with a nuclear power plant like that of conventional nuclear submarines. The combat subterrain was supposed to be able to reach any adversary's strategic facilities and blow them up from under the ground. It sounds as incredible as the disappearance of Soviet battle mole. In 1964, the only working machine submerged into the ground and traveled a total of 15 kilometers at a depth of 10 meters. It was a complete success, but the next experiment failed as the subterrain exploded underground for an unknown reason. After the incident, the tests were stopped. Raziaskaya Gazette newspaper states that the subterrane and its crew vanished as a result of a nuclear explosion and all the documentary evidence was destroyed. The secret of the Soviet battle mole resembles a storyline from a science fiction movie.